that was close. Oh, wow. That's one of the steepest turns I've ever seen this make. So as you can tell, I have done no interventions. Dude, we're getting close to calling this the first zero intervention crazy hill test. Wow. Wow, everyone. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, yes, this is fantastic. We are back to do our crazy hill test. If you um, saw, we just finished up the Saluda test, and that was zero disengagements. I would argue, I'm going to have to review the video uh, after I edit it. Was the best it had ever done that route again. Um, maybe, uh, what was it, the 11.3, that 6 was probably just as good. I'm gonna have to kind of compare that video to the 11.4.2, but otherwise it did very well. What we're looking for now is our crazy hill test. As you can see by the screen, it is um, very much a ridiculous hill we are about to go down. Uh, you saw enough of this preview. Let's go ahead and put the camera on so you can see. Honestly, it's improved already. Uh, it's going faster, like more confidence. I don't necessarily need to go 25 mile an hour. 20 mile an hour, I think, is a comfortable speed going around this section. Ooh, we have a car right here. How's that gonna affect what we're doing? Oh, man. Okay. Going to max speed for road type. Yeah, so that's new with the 11.4, that one update. Like I said, I haven't done this road yet, this test on that update. And so we're, we are a little bit too far left for my liking on, on this part of the road. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a snapshot, just in case. And I'm not gonna just, I, I don't think I've done any interventions yet. So I'm gonna see how long I can do no interventions or disengagements on this drive. Because a lot of times I will um, lower the speed and because of this new feature, limited max speed due to road type, it's doing it for me. And so now I don't have to do that. So again, right here it needs to say further left because, further left, sorry, wrong, further right. <laughs> Um, I sh I will, if it was even a little bit more left, I would have disengaged. It really needs to stay further right, right there, uh, because that, that's a blot. You can't see around that cur 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 curve. Um, it seems to stay, be staying a little bit further away from the edge of the road right here. It, it seems to be at least from the previous update. I, this is a playlist, um, everyone. So if you want to see how good or bad. Um, this did. Oh, come on. Oh, wait. I'm not, I'm not pressing anything. Come on, car. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Hey, I figured it out. That's new, I'm pretty sure. It might not necessarily be 11.4.2, 11.4.1 .4 might have added that. But it seems like... The car is now able to, you know, like, after it, you know, stops working, uh, well, after it, like, no longer has a path, is able to, like, eventually figure out a path. It's, like, kind of like, okay, well, the human hasn't taken over yet. Let's see what we can do. We'll keep on trying. I, I it is staying too far left. It really, it really is. I'm... If I feel too uncomfortable, I will disengage. At this point, it's fine for me. Uh, I think most people would have disengaged already. I'm just trying to test the limits here. It's, it's, my, it's my purpose right now. And so what I've noticed is, I guess, this is, this is subjective based on the day. <laughs> I think I slid a little bit right there or something. I don't know. Uh, a little bit jerky going around that curve. This is a little bit subjective, um, but I get car sick going around these type of roads. If anyone else is driving, obviously I'm not the one driving right now. So, though I guess I can say I'm probably getting a little bit car sick. It, it's it's not as smooth as it could be. Um, the the real test would be going uphill, I think. 
this is smoother than last time. I have to, I, I, it's hard for me to say for sure, but I really feel like this is smoother than last time. It just, everything feels, just feels like 10 to 15. That was close. Ooh, that was almost a disengagement. That was like a couple inches from like definitely like not being good. They, something is, is, I don't know, based on the release notes of this, uh, 11 up 4, that one. Um, I'm not exactly sure what specific point would have improved this road. But it definitely seems improved. I, maybe it's something with, uh, calculating the curvature, like the speed of going around curves has been improved. It, it's hard to say. But I, this is doing really good. I'm trying to see that my camera eh, pulled back to the right. That's what we want to see. So it needs to stay further right on those blind turns. Yeah, okay. So I'm pretty sure I'm not as sick as I was last time. We, we can go off the how sick is Rocco test um, I don't think I'm gonna be um, not like unless, the only way I won't be sick at all is if I I, I have to drive um, but yeah the I, I do think this is true obviously the fact that I haven't done any interventions or disengagements I if we go based on that metric alone it's improved. Now, it really does for a robo taxi to be acceptable, it has to move to the right. It's too, it's not safe. Um, I, I, I'm gonna be honest, what, what I'm gonna do is probably not safe. It needs to stay further right because some people fly up this hill and I'm honestly taking a little bit of a risk uh, letting it go so far left around some of these blind turns. Uh, since people have to slow down so much going around these turns, then um, it's n I can probably jerk the wheel to the right real quick if I if I do see someone. And also, we're on on a Friday night at seven thirty four p.m. Uh, anyone that is working down here has already gone home. And okay, good, it's worth away. But I was not even gonna let it go down that steep. I don't know if you can tell by the video, but there are gashes in the road right there because because it's so steep people bottom out and scrape bottom right there And so that's going to be our test when we go back up uh, We're gonna see how well it does uh, Making room if you were on Yaman space uh, on Twitter I mentioned and if you heard me mention that uh, it needs to give enough room going up around that corner to not bottom out. I have actually done that myself twice. <laughs> um, I do go very slow and you can hear it just scrape a little bit. It might have been the, like the flap behind the wheel that scraped. I don't think it was actually the battery pack. But um, yeah. So everyone, I don't know if you noticed or not. Um, this is essentially the end. I mean, we have a, you know, a couple more curves here. Um, where are we on this map? Yeah, so we're, we're basically done with this test. This is the first time ever, ever, like ever, to get zero interventions and zero disengagements going downhill. First time ever. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna end our trip here and I'm gonna go do a quick turnaround and we will see what we do going back up. Okay, we were going on our way back up, everyone. Let's see how this does. Also, another note. It didn't crash one time. Full self-driving would traditionally crash at least one time, if not multiple times, going down that hill. In fact, it didn't crash. I didn't have to do any interventions or any disengagements. It's, uh, it's gonna be, it's what well, we'll see. We'll see if we can do it on the way back up. I, I'm pretty hesitant going back up because it's, I, I think it's a little bit harder going up this than it is going down. 
So this is going to be a very hard test. If we get zero interventions, oh man, you already know by the title. Um, but this is definitely, this is really improved. I'm, I, I thought this might have been one of the roads that like it wouldn't be able to do um, due to the position of the cameras. But it seems like it, it's it's doing it. Uh, there's still the hesitancy of how blind some of these curves are. <laughs> oh man, it's okay. Well, that interaction wasn't great, and which is why um, I'm not gonna. That's a good reminder. I'm not gonna risk it going uphill if it's too far around the curve. I will uh, disengage. Okay, first test. It's got to swing out wide to the left. Unable to complete maneuver. Please assist. I've never seen that before. It completed it by itself. I did not touch. I did not touch anything. Uh, <laughs> I didn't touch the pedal or anything this entire time. Um, as long as full self-driving has been engaged with the blue wheel, I haven't touched a pedal. Or the speed. Like, that's what I noticed going home um, from Michigan. Oh, wow. That's one of the steepest turns I've ever seen this make. Um, but yeah, going home from Michigan, the, amount, the reduction in disengagements and interventions that I've had to do from the previous versions going on that same trip i-75 the whole way up from knoxville through to michigan uh super like re reduced like really impressive like i wish i got it on video everyone Ugh. okay um let me break there i really 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 wish i got that on video it's so good going in between um london kentucky and knoxville See, these are the turns it's going in too fast. And it's actually, I think it, like, loses a little bit of traction. Like, I have really good tires, but there's a little bit of gravel and stuff on this road. So, I think, like... I haven't paid attention to everyone. But, yeah, that section between London, Kentucky and Knoxville, Tennessee, there's a lot of truck traffic. And you start going uphill the mountains. And the lane change performance was like sublime. It was so good. I was so impressed. Now that wasn't the case for the whole trip. I want to be like transparent there. But for this section, it was so good. It it, it would get behind the truck, um, with the person that was going fifteen over past me. And then it would immediately get back over and speed back up. Man, this is doing good. This is doing so good. It like, yeah, it would immediately get back over and speed back up and repeat over and over. The traffic was pretty heavy for that area. And it would just do it over and over again. It would get behind the car. It was actually three lanes of traffic, which did help. Wow, this is... Didn't need the blinker there, which I'm surprised it hasn't turned the blinker on more often. The only reason turn the blinker on it, look at how terrible this map data is. It's garbage. Um, but um, yeah, it, it just, I was just super impressed. I really wish I had it on video. Uh, but we were just trying to get home. We were tired and we were just trying to get home. So uh, it wasn't in the priority list to uh, try and record videos especially like trying to capture when you want it to do something like that as like well as soon as you start recording then it would stop doing it or something like that and i didn't even try i'm not sure what that red sign said graffiti on there so i wish what it would do is just do this very slow like maybe like a mile per hour or less like four mile an hour just smoothly going around that turf so as you can tell i have done no interventions. Dude, we're getting close to calling this the first zero intervention crazy hill test. Like, we only have like, what, six more? I don't know. I can't even tell on this map. It's so bad. It's like someone did a burnout coming up this hill. 
Yeah, there's some. The first time I ever did the first time I ever did this hill, I didn't I I didn't record it. It was so bad I didn't bother recording it. I just was like this is terrible. It's one of the first version eight versions I ever got. It's like oh let me see how well it's gonna do on this. Like everyone's saying it's so good in the city. I'm like, I was embarrassed. I'm like they're saying this is gonna be done by the end of the year and it, it couldn't even like complete one turn on this road. I'm I don't know what Elon was smoking, but um. To even consider that it would be remotely like complete, even this year, um, they they still have work to do. That no, complete needs to be defined. If complete means curb the curb robo taxi, that might be possible on restricted areas this year. Like maybe on very restricted areas, curb the curb robo taxi, that might be possible. Oh no 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 no! Oh. Okay, that was not the way I would have took that turn, but A, it did it. Um, and most importantly, everyone, I'm nowhere near as sick. I mean, I'm not 100, I'm like 90% good. I'm like 10% sick. If, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, thought I was going to mess up right there. Um, it, this is, it's not like right here, it would normally speed up and then jam on the brake again. But it's already slowing back down for this curb. I do wonder what would happen. I've only seen this happen one time on my testing. I don't even remember if I got it on video. Uh, if a tree was down in the road, would it stop for the tree? I feel like I did this and it, it was a long time ago and it did not. I think this was before they had the occupancy network in place. Okay, you can do it. You can do it. Okay, we just have to make it without come, oncoming car just a little bit of ways left like it starts speeding up when it gets more confident here like this is i i didn't expect it to be this improved based on the release notes i mean it nothing says like oh steep hills are gonna be greater confidence like i don't know um maybe i missed something in the release notes or i, I just didn't like correlate it to my crazy hill test but Wow. <laughs> I don't know if my, um, oh yeah, the camera's still recording up there. Heck yes. I thought my battery would have ran out. I'm just gonna, wow. Wow, everyone, oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, yes, this is fantastic. Say any less, the fact that I'm stoked is an understatement. Wow, we have this RV right here. Um, it's trying to figure out what to do based on this map data. Creeping forward because it thinks it's making a turn. I'm actually going to disengage right here and stop the test right here. Not because of that RV, but because of... I want to just kind of discuss this, um, this, this route. I did not expect to get zero interventions. At all. I did not expect to do that. Holy crap. I just... Yeah, I'm so excited. Uh, um, I'm hoping this doesn't jinx my downtown Asheville test. It seems like whenever I have good tests in this area, downtown Asheville is just horrific. But we're gonna see. That that be, I think this this um new feature with the reduced speed for road type is gonna make Asheville substantially better. So p please, if you want to see that, go, go ahead and give me a subscribe, give me a like, all that fun stuff. And so excited. See you in the next video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.